Jerry Ross, who I work for, flown in space seven times on the shuttle, he said, at some point in your mission, stop and look out and sear the image into your mind. And don't take a picture of it, just sear it in your mind and you'll remember that the rest of your life. And the time I did that uh, was on the end of the space station, getting ready to go over the side and actually uh, do some work on the side. And there was two times, I remember going over the side and holding on with a thumb and a forefinger and there was nothing between me and that was it. That was what was holding me to space station and uh, doing some work and pushing a plunger. But I remember before I went, I, I looked over the horizon uh, of the limb of the earth out you know, into the vastness of the universe thinking there's nothing between me and whatever else is out there. And that was that moment, there's, no, you can't, there's nobody. But is there somebody? Is there something else out in the vastness of the universe? And it really made me feel really small. I mean, I felt really insignificant because the earth's down here, my friends are there, my family, but I can't see them. And, and here's a point in my time where there's nobody at all between me and, and what's out there. And it really made me wonder, you know, are, are we alone? I don't think we are uh, because of the, the probability is so great given the number of stars and, and planets. And that's a, it's just hard to wrap your mind around it, but it really makes you ask questions and it makes you really curious.